at Tempe Diablo Stadium, the Angels are getting ready to take on their crosstown rivals, but even more important, they're getting ready to take on the season. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Sorreo here at the stadium in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona with Doug Hughes, my co-host, my baseball guy, all the way from the East Coast. Doug, beautiful weather out here in Arizona, right? Once again, this We're is loving can't, it. can't miss operation here in can't Arizona. Miss, yes, and can't miss operation right here at the Angels. They are raring and ready to go for the season. We've had a chance to sit down with a lot of them, but let's get right to the big story. That's Albert Pujols and his health. Just talked to him in the locker room, and he said that he's never felt healthier and pain-free, which is a great sign for Albert. Albert's always one of the big stories. Uh, he yes. and Josh Hamilton uh, coming off years that they, they might prefer to scratch off their yes, career, career list. Uh, but he's still Albert Pujols. He is a terrific player. You look at his numbers over the years. He's Amazing. done it. He's uh, a little bit of decline over the last flu a few years, but he is healthier. He feels better. He is stronger this year. Uh, he looks like he is coming all the way back. He's going to be the Albert Pujols. He says of old, no reason to doubt him. It looks good for the Angels on that front. It really does. And, you know, Albert also, not only that, but he said that he feels just a renewed sense of spirit, which is hugely important for these guys, especially if you've gone through a down year or down two years. Um, so great for Albert. We're great news for him. We we're happy to hear that for sure. Uh, the more time I spend uh, around uh, these locker rooms, going into a major league locker room, the more I have come to believe, Maria, and exactly what you're saying, the overall feel of a team, mm -hmm. the, the the intangibles, the energy, it sounds kind of like you're just making stuff up, but uh, that stuff is important for a it's season. Huge. Oh, it's a long season, 162 games. It drags on from April all the way through September, October for the lucky ones. Yes. And and if you don't have a, a good feel about your work environment. You're in trouble. Th and, and it's sports and, and people believe in the momentum and the back and forth and all this stuff. And uh, you, you want to get that, you want to get it early in the season. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but the, yeah. Angels, the Angels are at least starting in that direction. They have the tools in place to either do it with the, by, yeah, by having some people recapture their uh, their natural ability and bring right. it all the way out, or they have the ability, if that doesn't come together with the intangibles, to fall short again. The same with Josh Hamilton. He had a great season at the end of last season, you know, at the end, and that's huge because, you know, even if you don't start off well, you always want to finish strong, and Josh did, and he's also ready to go for the season. Had a little bit of a calf injury out here at spring training, but that's nothing. He'll be over it soon, and he'll be back out in the field, so yeah. really good. If you're going to have a bad half season one year, you would rather it be yeah. the, the first half of the season. You'd, you'd hate to have a yes. great first oh, half and a, and a I bad think second half. worse, isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. You would you'd feel like you're on a decline. Josh Hamilton is going the other direction. He had a right. bad start, and he'll he's admit still really that. Young. He, he still admit yeah. that freely. He's still very talented. Yes. His, his swing is still very beautiful. I just love his swing. I, I watch it on on TV. He watches I, it over and over and over and, again. And I recommend that to everyone. You you, you catch it on he slow tapes motion. He games, or I guess nobody tapes games anymore, right? They DVR them. I don't know what to call it. Mine is all filled with kids shows. So whatever the thing kids is, kids shows and baseball games, the thing right? is, it's filled with Barney and Agent Oso and, and the Octonauts. If you haven't seen the Octonauts, there you go. Fabulous okay. show. But uh, that uh, so that you will see Josh Hamilton's swing slow down. They'll show it to you in slow motion. It's beautiful. Then you slow it down again further, and you will see his weight shift. You will see his shoulders turn above his uh, his hips, uh, and the power come, comes out of that thing. And that's his swing has not changed. His body weight has changed uh, a little a bit. Little he he there, runs yep. up and down. He's put on weight this year. He thinks that's going to add his power back in. He's got 20 pounds more weight, he says. Uh, pretty much all muscle. Uh, good sign. So look for him to have that same beautiful swing in double slow-mo and look for it to have a little more pop this year A little more as pop. Well. And also, Mike Trout has a lot of pop just naturally. He can't help it. He doesn't he need can't. to do anything. He, he doesn't, really need to, can't. He doesn't yeah. add weight. He doesn't lose weight. He has also a <laughs> beautiful awesome. swing. Double slow-mo on that one as well, I recommend. Uh, that is a beautiful swing. You can count on that thing showing up at the ballpark day in, day out, along with his speed and defense. Mike Trout's back. That's going to be good news again. You know, really interesting because he's had so much media responsibilities in the last few days of the PR department. I don't think he'd keep up with it. He's so incredibly popular because he's a young guy, you know, maybe the best in baseball. That is what they say. He's yeah. on the cover of everything. Every magazine. You pull up a magazine, pull up a baseball magazine, and look at the cover, and there's, and there's Mike, Mike Trout. Trout. Uh, yeah, and there's Mike Trout. Wait, and there's Mike Trout. Where is it? <laughs> and Mike Trout, and is Mike Trout, right and Mike Trout. It is right here. Wait, I, I don't know which it. magazine I'm holding, but okay, he's wait. on it. I think it's. I think he's on the cover. And, and he does have a lot of Doug media. Doesn't want to show us the cover of the magazine. All right, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. It's a Lindy's Sport Baseball, and it's okay. it's, it's got so Mike Trout. So they can't see it, but we can show you right here. 
that it is Mike Trout. And of course, so much promise for this young man. Yeah, Mike Trout is back. Mike Trout, you can count on. He, he is very busy. He was, uh, he gets busy with, as you said, media obligations. He's Amazing. got stuff. That I saw him walking around here one time talking to people and, and, uh, and Sosha, uh, Mike Sosha, the manager, yells over at him. He goes, Mike, is this your day off? And he <laughs> said, Ooh, not good for Mike No, Sosha. you don't want the boss yelling at you like that. But you got to get your work in. And he is yes. so popular. He is so everybody's it guy that it's it's hard to uh, for him to, to get the physical time to do right. the work that you do in spring training. But he's getting but he's it done. he's getting it, yeah. And he's absolutely. young. He looks fabulous. So you don't worry about Mike Trout. Yeah, you know, a couple players that they lost this year were Trumbo and Borges. And, you know, every year locker rooms tend to change a little bit. And get getting used to new guys and, you know, missing old guys. But I think that that's just part of it. It's, it's kind of part of the culture of the locker room. It is. It's part of the nature of baseball. It I, is, I yeah. don't like these two losses. I don't like the fact that they have lost uh, Borges, Peter Borges in center field. I like his speed. I like yeah. his defense. I like what he brought here. Uh, I don't like the fact that they have lost Trumbo. I like his power. So those... He's a home run king. But, you know, they did in exchange get some pitching, which they really needed which is really important. Now, another new player that they got was David Freeze from the St. Louis Cardinals, Albert's friend. And we had a chance to sit down with him and talk about what it's like playing with the Angels now. So let's take a look at that. We're here with new Angel David Freeze. David, welcome to the Angels. How is spring training going? Oh, it's been great. Um, it's everything I kind of kind of hoped for coming to a new, new squad. Uh, the guys are great. Obviously, it's a top-notch organization. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're just looking to continue spring training and get ready for the season. You didn't have to change a color. No, did not. <laughs> just the spikes. The spikes are black now. But other exactly. than that, pretty much the same. So you actually know people here. Um, Albert Pujols, you played with him. How comforting is that for a player to know somebody? Hey, and there's Mike Trout. There right he is. The, my, the man. I need my Trout shirt. There it is. <laughs> um, no, it's great having Albert around. Mm -hmm. He was already here when I showed up, and uh, we got our lockers next to each other, which is cool. Um, showed me the ropes first few days, kind of eased me in. And uh, But with this group, it was so easy. It, it kind of feels the same as the St. Louis team um, that I was used to for a few years. Uh, just, uh, just a great group to be around. You know, you went so far last year into the playoffs and in in almost to the World Series, winning it. What is it like for you to come back? You're at a new team now. Does it sort of motivate you more? Do you think? Or I think you, you kind of go in the season, um, each season the same way. I mean, this is our job to go out and win win baseball games. Right. Uh, whether you know you've had a lot of success or not a lot at all, um, you still go in and understand that you're at the beginning of a grind, yeah. um, but you got to come to the yard every day um, knowing you're going to help your team. Have you gotten a chance to talk to all the guys in there yet? or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot of guys, and we'll trickle down to, to 25 by the beginning of the season, but, um, you know, everybody's, you know, welcoming me in, and uh, it's just uh, it's awesome, awesome to be around, and, um, you know, it's just nice to, uh, to be around this type of talent. Uh, have a chance to talk to obviously to Mike Sosha, who's a great manager. Um, what kind of things has he said to you so far? Uh, just, just be me. Have a good time out here. Um, stay within myself, and uh, you know I think they're excited to have me around. And yeah. you know I'm looking forward to helping this team. But uh, you know I learned quickly that that Mike Sosha is. Uh, you know obviously I've known he's a great manager. But, man, he's funny. You know he we, is funny, we, isn't we, he? Have, we have a, we have a good time <laughs> in our meetings and uh, during practice. He keeps it loose, but definitely a. Uh, serious vibe out there knowing uh, what we have to do. Guys always get sort of like they're done with spring training, they just want to play games. Where are you with that right now? Uh, you know, just, just understanding the process. Right. That's what it's all about. You know, it's um, beginning of March still. we still got a few weeks. But um, I think we, we get the fact that, you know, we got to get ready. And we got to come out and have a good April. I think that's what the Angels have, have missed the last two two or three seasons is a, is a good April and, and we got to come out uh, we got to come out rolling. You know, a lot of guys we were talking about that getting off to a fast start. How do you do that? Uh, just preparation, focus, and sometimes you can be as prepared as the next guy and and it not ha have it not happen. Um, but that's just baseball. That's life. It happens. But you just keep grinding it out. And uh, you hear it's a six month season and there's reasons for it. You can. You can turn it around pretty quick. You know, just talking to Albert in the locker room, and he seems very determined and different than in years past. You know, I, I only know one Albert. The one Albert I know is uh, the guy that I see every day that, that's always focused, always has that drive. Um, you know, he's grinded out some nagging injuries over the years, and he's right. usually around 160 games, you know, every year of his career. So I'm sure last year was tough on him. Yeah. Um, 
kind of pulling back and, and getting out of there, getting off the field. But, uh, you know, you see him now, and he's ready to go. Yeah. He, he's excited, and uh, he's looking forward to this season. And I think uh, we have an offense that can do some damage this year if we stay healthy and, you know, looking forward to the opportunity. Well, I'm sure it's nice for him to have another friend here, too, as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know, you know he uh, he's a great guy, and, um, you know, we all get along with him. And, you know, it's nice to see him again. It's pretty weird, actually, uh, yeah, coming, is, coming sure. back full circle. and you know, um, being on the same team, but, you know, obviously it's great having them around. You know, David Freeze, great guy, clutch hitter, and now he's a part of the Angels. It's amazing. He is a really clutch hitter. Uh, you go back to 2011, what he did with the Cardinals. He was the MVP of the NLCS uh, and of the, uh, uh, of the World Series. I, if, if I were the other team, he is the last player in the league I would, would want to see coming up in, in, exactly. a, in a clutch situation. Yeah, I love his uh, what he does in big situations. He completely steps up. He's yes. good during the year. Last year, again, a year he would not like to have in, in, on his record. But he went to the World Series last year with the St. Louis Cardinals, so that can't be too bad. And I think that that will rub off on the player in this locker room that here's a guy who just was in the World Series last year. Win or lose, it's awfully hard to do that. Yeah, and, and he and uh, Albert are now reunited. They used to play together. They've yeah, had success with that. But yeah, for, so Freeze, uh, again, uh, as with Hamilton, as with Pujols, not a year last year, 2000. 2013 that he would like to repeat uh, if the three of them can step up their game and Huge. freeze in particular if they get to the postseason which uh, obviously they are counting on doing he knows how to play he knows how to play when he gets there I thought it was cute that they said that Albert and their lockers were right next to each other here yeah. in spring training I wonder if it'll be that way in Anaheim we'll find out yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's it's a, fun. He said it was as you've heard. It's a little weird to be in a different city, different location. But the uh, colors are the shirts same. Shirts the same color. Yeah, shoes exactly. a different color. Uh, shirts the same color. Uh, some of the same guys. Uh, when you pick up the ball at, uh, at third base and you're throwing over to first, you're, I know that guy. It's always interesting to me too when they go from American League to National League or vice versa. So here he is now in the American League, and that's got to be a little bit different. Well, all the pitchers are different, and, yeah. and this is an advantage for the pitchers, and it's a disadvantage and for the hitters. So, so when, when you go to a, a new league, uh, the first thing you do is try to get used to the pitching, and until right. you do, they own you. So his, he is likely to get off to a slow start like almost everybody who comes from the NL to the AL. Uh, so advantage pitchers there, but after a few times you face a guy, you get the handle of it, and he should be okay. Yeah, no slow starts here at the Angels. They're uh, going to get off to uh, a fast start. That's the name of the game this year. Now, we had a chance to talk to the closer, Ernesto Frieri, and he is always so much fun, so upbeat. He brings that locker room up. We'll talk about it, but let's take a look first. You're in spring training. How's it been going so far? It's been it's been really good. I mean, uh, I like the mentality that that everybody has this year. I mean, everybody's competing with themselves. You know, like, like last couple of years, as you see, like so many people trying to compete with the with, with the with, with, with the other guy. But right now. I see guys like working hard, trying to get better, and that's what we need to do. Well, you know, two slow starts to the season. Obviously, to jump out and get a fast start would be good. How do you do that? Well, from the pitching side, we're just working in just hold the lead. You know, like we need to start from day one to to to, to the last day of the season because hmm? uh, <clears throat> you need to be aggressive. I'm, I'm, we have great arm this year, right. young people, but great arm. They, People, uh, young pitchers that they can pitch. I mean, they've been like, they've been getting better every single day that they, that, that, that they came over here. I like the, the our bullpen stuff is amazing this year. So I think that if we pitch this year, we're gonna be good because everybody's expecting like, oh, the Angels they're gonna hit a lot because this, you know. I mean, they, they, we, we got good hitters. Everybody you do. knows that. Yep. But we need to pitch too, so and we have that gear. You've got a couple of new guys in here this year pitching. What's it been like, the mood, and have you talked to those guys, obviously? Well, I had the chance to meet the Santiago last year. Mm -hmm. I saw him pitch against us, and he looks really good. I saw him pitch here, and he can, he can, he can pitch. He can, he, 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 he attacks the strike zone. He's not, he's fearless, and he's gonna help us. I mean, and second we got Scott. Oh my God, I love that guy. He's 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 good. Great great guy. He's a uh, he's a really really good pitcher. Great arm, and no 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 fear at all. You at know all. like so. I he's gonna, gonna. I wanted to ask you, what are the biggest challenges for young pitchers? Trust, trust themselves. You know like sometimes when you you have I mean you got the talent, but if you don't trust it, it won't work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see so many people that don't have that that that, that really good talent. But they just go out there and do the job because they believe in this. They think that they can do it. So I think 
if you if if you get to to that point to believe in yourself and to believe that you can do it, you're gonna be good. Albert's already talked about the fact that this is gonna be a good year, a lot of positive vibrations. You bring a lot of fun to the locker room too. <laughs> well, I just try to be me, you know, you are. Ernie being Ernesti. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just try to be me, and and yes, I lo I always. I always want to make my team smile, you know, like sometimes if you take these games too serious, yeah. you're going to get in your hurt and then you're going to be worried and then you're going to be like, oh my God, what I'm doing? No, you're, you're going to be like, whenever you are on the field, okay, now you get focused. But you're not, whenever you are here hanging out in, in, the, in the clubhouse, that's, that's what I mean, hang out, talk to the teammates, laugh, and do something different. Mm -hmm. And what did you do during the off season? Well, last, last year I was uh, in my country with my family, yep. taking care of my wife that was pregnant. Wow, you just had a baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 we just had a baby. That's, that was that's amazing, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Yep. It's a really good feeling. So I was uh, in my country, you know, getting prepared, working a couple of new bre uh, breaking balls and, and trying to get ready here. And I think that I'm, that I'm ready to go right now. So working on breaking balls, but also changing diapers and taking care of the baby, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that co the, the, the last couple of days, and that's fun. I take. I mean, that's the price that we need to pay. That we have to pay to be a dad. Oh, I, it's great. I pay. I love Frieri. He is so much fun, and he has got such an exuberant personality for a closer. Yeah, there's, there's two kinds of closers you can have. You can have either the guys who are focused, the old Goose Gossage type, the yes. Al Roboski, the, the mad Hungarian to get back to St. Louis again. You have these guys who uh, come Hungarian, in. The mad Hungarian, only you remember that, okay? <laughs> he's actually on TV. I see him. Uh, he's, he's a color <laughs> guy out there now. Uh, but this, that's one personality where you, you focus, you swear at everybody, you come in, you, you glare. And then there's the other kind. Yes. Uh, and and I that's, like uh, this guy. that's what Ernie is, uh, yeah, he's as, as he calls himself. He's, uh, he's a fun guy. He's kind of a flaky closer. You got the Brian Wilson thing going on. So you, you can either bring a lot of focus. Uh, or you can be sort of goofy. Well, the one thing they are all the same at is when they're delivering the ball, no nonsense. There's no goofing around on the mound. You will not find any goofing around anywhere. But off the field, two different kinds of closers. This one's the fun one. Well, you know, this year also, the Angels are counting on their pitching. I mean, last year it was pretty much a disaster. It was. But this year it's Jared Weaver, C.J. Wilson, Garrett Richards, who everybody is talking about as he's going to make the difference. That third solid pitcher that you have, which you need in a major league environment. Yeah, everybody knows about Jared Weaver and, and C.J. Wilson. Yeah, and, and uh, they are a terrific combination. You think, okay, we got the two of them at the top of the order. Now what? Uh, yeah, so so Garrett Richards from there gives the, the third. You can tinker around with four and five. You right. need three in today's do, major league absolutely. game. You used to be able to get away with two. You can't do that now. Uh, three is, is now the uh, the entry fee. That is the cover charge for having That's a major it. league staff, and, and the Angels have it. Now, on the, on the flip side, Chris Iannetta has been catching for a few years here at the Angels, and there are some new rules to deal with this year. Um, I, I'm sure as Mike Sosha being a former catcher, he's going to play close attention to what's going on at the plate for sure. Yeah, that's one of the great things about uh, Mike Sosha uh, being a former catcher. I think catchers know more about the game than anyone. They play the whole game in foul territory. They, they watch crush. it. He just has a man crush on Mike Sosha. So, don't listen to him. I do not have a man crush on Mike Sosha. My yes. Sosha is my age. We're, we're exactly the same age within a month. He grew up in the next town over. I have man followed crush. this guy since, since he was since he was a kid. Uh, we were all excited he got uh, when a it, job. Uh, when when it was, yeah, a job. The rest of us <laughs> coming out of high school. <laughs> is it the, the Navy? We can't uh, we can't hit. We can't throw like Sosha. I remember he got a. Uh, a call up to the, the Yankees. They, they interviewed him and he had a tryout up there in Yankee Stadium. We're so all was excited. it all over the newspaper? Really? All over the, yeah. <laughs> Delaware County, <laughs> so Pennsylvania. There's nothing else going on but Mike Sosha. So I have followed him over the years. I think he is a brilliant manager. Uh, he gets credit for being a tough guy, former catcher, block the plate, blah, blah, blah. He is a brilliant manager. He is in, I believe, the top tier of managers mm -hmm. of all time. He does not get enough credit for that just because he's a, he's a tough Philly guy, uh, but he is also smart. Do not be fooled by Mike Sosha's Philly routine. Uh, he is a clever fox. Well, and he is. He's a fox, he's, Maria. He's a, he's a fox. <laughs> he's a fox. He has a man crush. He's a great, he's the best in baseball. It's okay, Doug. It's okay. He, he, he's very good. But as we're to get back to uh, Ionetta, I, yeah. I like him. Ionetta yes. is, is a uh, he's a tough man. He's a catcher's catcher. Uh, I don't think he really cares about this new rule. It's designed to protect catchers from getting blasted in That's the wake right. of Buster Posey's destruction of his ankle. Uh, they thought they didn't want that anymore. I don't know that Ionetta cares. A big collision at the plate. You better hit Ionetta just right if you think you're going to get the better of it. Yeah. Uh, still, it's going to it's going to uh, prolong some careers and 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 help some people through the season, and he'll benefit from that. But he's a tough guy. I don't think he needs the rule. Well, and replay is also going to be a big deal this year. It's going to be very different um, that we've ever had in baseball. And I think it's going to be helpful because you know sometimes umpires make mistakes. 
listen, they do an amazing job 99% of the time, as Joe Torrey had said, but that 1% of the time, if you can get it right, why not get it right? And we've seen that in football. The games have, have often Absolutely. turned on it. And you were yes. talking to Mike Socia before the game, asking right. him about the use of the replay. Mm -hmm. And I, I told you he's a smart guy. He, he went, went through the analysis of not just, oh, is it a home run, is it not a home run, is it, is it an out at the plate, plays that, that cost a run or don't cost a run. He was talking about using it on a on a, a play in the third inning where your pitcher has gotten off to a slow start. Exactly. He's thrown a lot of pitches. There's an innocuous hit, close call at first, goes the wrong way. You can end that inning, uh, even though there's no run on the line at the moment. You can end that inning and save your pitcher a bunch of pitches That's by right. closing it off right there. He's, uh, he's already thinking of the strategy he, he's, of he's it. He's thinking yes. about particular innings, where mm -hmm. in the game, pitch count. A lot more goes into this than did the a run score or did the run not score, which in football is, is what you do. That they, they review all the scoring plays, obviously, and discretionary with the manager, the coaches beyond that. Uh, but Mike Socia is thinking about the nuances of this already. I think that's a really good sign, and I think he's going to do a great I, job with it. I think he wants to use it as well. I think well, he's excited about it. Yeah, for sure. and particularly for, for bad plays at the plate as a catcher. That just galls you when you put the tag down and, uh, and you don't get the call. And you think, I got hit. I did everything exactly. I was supposed to, and I didn't get the out. So it, that will certainly uh, let him vent his spleen on that but in, in, in its higher form this replay is is as so many things in baseball there's more going on and right. uh, Mike Socia is on top of that and, and gonna, watch for the way he uses it well it's gonna take a while too they're not gonna get it right every time they're not used to it yet so there's gonna be some quirks to work out of the system for sure but it's definitely gonna be exciting that's no doubt about that yeah spring training for everybody spring training for, uh, for managers getting uh, used to, to throwing the uh, the flag or the the sock or whatever yeah, it is they have them see throw. That for the first time happen I want to see them throw what it are out. they throwing have they decided I don't know. They're throwing? I don't even know we don't even know what it is yet well no. maybe we'll find out yeah well we'll see and whatever it is, uh, when guys can't find it, uh, they, they'll throw the wrong thing, and that'll yeah. be entertaining to and it. Do they get their own colors for their team, or is it one color? I think it's got to be uniform because they, they right, have we'll to pick it up. up. The uh, the umpire has to be able to pick it up. And there's a, can you throw it and then sneak it, sneak out and get it back? Yeah, as no. guys are trying to do in football, they no, have, that's no. called that's cheating. Out. Cheating. Yeah, exactly. uh, so, yeah. All right, listen, we had a chance to catch up with Chris Ionetta, so let's take a look. Okay, some new rules this year, some changes. As a catcher, um, talk about the new rule at the plate. Yeah, you know, the plays at the plate, I was I was all for keeping it the same. I didn't really want to change the game too much. I thought it was I thought it was okay as is. And you know, as a rule developed and each situation was taken case by case and they finally legislated one rule that um, the final copy that came out. I actually don't mind it. It it takes away that you know, if the catcher's out in front of the plate and you get blind, you can't get blindsided by the runner. You know, you have to have the ball before you can force contact. And as a catcher, we have to give the the runner a lane to slide in. So I think it's a, I think it turned out to be a really good rule. When you have a change like that after you've been playing a certain way so long, how long does it take to get acclimated? Do you think to that? You know, it's not too much different than what we've already done. You know, okay. most catchers for the most part don't you know, stand on top of the plate or take the whole thing away if they don't have the ball anyway. So now we just have to be a little more cognizant of giving a little bit more room. And then once we have the ball, that's when we can, you know, get in the running lane and take take the plate away. Everybody's talking about getting off to a fast start. Obviously, you guys would like yeah. to do that. How do you do that as a player? I think it starts now. It starts in camp. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's taking these spring training games seriously. Uh, right now, it's still in the time where you're still getting your body in shape. You're still getting your timing down. You're still working on you. But, you know, in a couple of weeks when, you know, we get a little closer to the season, it's got to become a little more team-oriented, and you got to start playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. And, you know, once that starts, is you just springboard into the season. And if we do a good job here, it'll carry over. Yeah, you've got some new pitchers this year. Um, how, how long have you been talking to them and getting to know them? Yeah, you know, we just – Spend some time in the bullpen, you know, working on their stuff and just catching them and getting acclimated with them. And then ultimately, once you get in the game, that's when you really kind of figure out what they're all about and they'll figure out what I'm all about and we'll just go from there. How do you uh, communicate with someone who doesn't speak English? <laughs> yeah, I mean, fortunately, everyone can speak baseball. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yes. So, I mean, it hasn't been too bad over the years. It hasn't been anyone that I've really had too much of a tro too much trouble with. It's not like... I, I don't know how much English Darvish knows. I think he's okay, but it hasn't been a situation where a foreign player that is very limited has come over and I've had to work with them in that capacity. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. The locker room seems very loose. Everybody having a good time. Is that different than before? No, we've always had a good locker room. We've always had a good time. We've always enjoyed our time here. I think the biggest change is guys are really getting after it and that's and we need to and that's a good thing. It's, yeah. a, it's something that you know we've always strived to do, but it's, it's really showing up this year. Always a lot of fun with Chris Iannetti. You know, he is such a smart guy, and I love sitting down and talking to him. It's great. 
You like that in your catcher, a thinking I catcher. Do. I love the catcher. Catcher doesn't think is not going to help you. I am yeah. as a thinker. I, I mean, they have so much research to do and work to do, and they're studying pitchers all the time. And he got to throw Jared Weaver, or press for Jared Weaver in his, his uh, no hitter last year. So. Amazing, amazing. And catchers People love talking. Catchers love talking about that. If you talk to a catcher oh, about his so career fun. and just say, "What what parts did you like?" It will always come up if they have caught a no hitter that they caught that. And, and and they should take credit for that. Absolutely. Uh, they they cannot commit an error along with uh, anybody else in a perfect game. Uh, but the, they're calling the pitches throughout the game, and they have to be in On, sync. Yeah, absolutely. Always the same thing you hear at, after no hitter. How was it out there? Boy, I felt like uh, Bobby and me were on the same page. They always use bad grammar. Uh, but they're, they just do. They use bad grammar. I don't know. Bobby's the pitcher. <laughs> Bobby's the catcher. It's when one is talking about the other, what they always I'm say. I'm making stuff up. I'm now. making stuff up. They, okay. they, they never. A you know, pitcher can't just say, go out there and say, I was awesome. The catcher can't say I was awesome. But they don't have a problem together saying we were awesome. Uh, it, they, if when they're on the same page, they say, boy, I was, I was. They always give each other credit. They'll say, here for I was sure. never shaking Phil off. Phil is the catcher in this example. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the, Phil the, and the, Bobby. <laughs> they're on Again, the same. Phil and Bobby have no hitter. Not even on the teams, right? Give me a Phil and Bobby. When they're on the same page, Phil and Bobby, no hitter coming your way. All right, now I put Doug through the ringer just a little bit here today with the, with the fans. Of course, the Angels and the Dodgers played each other today. So we went out and talked to the fans about who the face of their team is. So let's take a look. Who do you think is the face of the Angels? Well, this year it's Mike Trout. Obviously. Yeah, I have to agree with her, probably. I'd say Mike Trout. How about all time? All time? Oh. That's a hard one. Uh, I've stumped you. I would say probably Brian Downing. Who is the face of the Dodgers? Favorite player? Puig. Okay. Hanley Ramirez. Hanley. Matt Kemp. Joe, you love peanuts? Steve Garvey. Yeah. <laughs> Ethier. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> Trout, hello. <laughs> the two cutest boys. Yeah. Exactly. That's why we like baseball. All time face of the Angels, uh, all time favorite player? Troy Gloss. Who's the face of the Dodgers? Vince Scully for me. You know, I live right down the street from the stadium. It's been my heart. Baseball never goes away. It's always there when you need it. I'm Angels fan through and through. Who is the face of the Angels franchise? Well, it's got to be Mike Trout. Well, I got two. What do you got? Uh, you got Trout, of course, and Weaver, Long Beach State Dirtbag. Jared Weaver. Okay. How about uh, favorite Dodger? Favorite Dodger, Ethier all the way because he's a devil. Just for the record, I want you to notice that I wore the hostel shirt. I had the Dodger shirt on here at Tempe today. Just want to make that known. That's all. Take it, taking the bold step, and then uh, the, rarely, but sometimes these fans do turn each other, and the Angels fans you started throwing. So? And Maria, I had the Angels shirt on. I got caught up in it. I, I threw a Coke and some peanuts at you. I'm sorry. Jeez, I'm, sorry. I'm telling you, he got all caught up in this. Now, who's the next face of baseball, Maria? You know, interesting question, dog. Yeah. Maybe even here in Los Angeles could be Mike Trout, could be Clayton Kershaw. Well, some of the fans agree with that too. And there's there's no way we can pick this. Uh, it's just one of those things that happens. I do. I think it's going to be Mike Trout. I don't know why this happens. Uh, what uh, what goes into it? But sometimes people become the face, unless they don't. And and uh, just feels like it's going to be Mike Trout. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our show today. And our next show, we're going to get back to Lakers, Clippers, and auto racing and opening days of baseball, which is always fun. Uh, Angels and Dodgers. So please stay tuned for that. And we'll try to get Doug Hughes to come back and visit us again in LA. Any excuse to leave the snowy East Coast is fine with me. Yeah, you and, like that. And if you can't wait for the next show, you can watch us anytime live on the 24/7. web. 24-7. That's, That's 24 right. hours, seven, seven days, days a week, seven days. anytime you want. That's playingthefieldtv.com, playing, playingthefieldtv, all one word. I think Brandon's going to be taking some cool pictures we'll put up on the website as well. So that's, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. All right. I'm Maria Sorreo for Doug Hughes, and we'll see you next time.